I'm Gianni Capasso. Uh, actually, I'm a full professor of nephrology at the University of Vampitelli, that is University of Campania regions. And in the meantime, I also have been appointed as a director, scientific director of a Biogen. Biogen is a large uh, research institute involved in uh, molecular biology and genetics. On one side, since I was also uh, still teaching, so I can have a university appointment, but uh, I can do full research in uh, this institution that is quite uh, very, very uh, important for the start of Italy. So combination of uh, teaching, growing students, and also growing scientists is very, very big. I'm a nephrologist, so I'm doing uh, translational nephrology, translational research. But since I'm a director of this large institution, uh, I have to, to do uh, research also in different areas, uh, including nephrology. Uh, let's say why I'm doing translational nephrology or translational medicine. I think this is very important. My background as a nephrologist, I am a physician. So I've been taking care of a patient all along my life. But since I'm old, old in an academic position, uh, this means I have to combine clinical with the research. And uh, I always ask myself to do uh, some research work that was correlated with my clinical work. In other words, when I start a project, I start all the time, always, looking at some patient that they need to, to make the diagnosis of their disease more easy and understandable, and if possible, curable. So that is, uh, that's why I, I apply to translational nephrology. And actually, in all my life, I've tried to uh, follow the indication of the research indication, how we can translate a problem from the bad side to the, to, the, to the bench. And actually, it's nowadays uh, very well accepted that one of the models that we have to, uh, to follow is just to generate animal models of human disease. Um, since the beginning, I was much, much interested in a rare disease because this is a very hot, hot topic. And actually, and in nephrology, we have a, a lot of patients they are very complex and uh, they are, we see every day in the hospitals and they need that. Since, since many years ago, we need to answer why this patient had it, what kind of disease they have. So I was working with property and there's a special issues. I went outside the country in order to learn more on the physiology, let's say. And there are some diseases in which I produce quite a lot. And the sense is, uh, let's say, some disease in which there was uh, a specific molecules or protein that was uh, in some half range of it was uh, or it was not well expressed along the nephron. And that's why that's why we establish a very important center here in Naples where we treat a rare disease. And it turned out that actually a few years ago in Europe it was a create a network for rare disease. And uh, our center in Naples that I have direct since many years has been um, one of the main centers uh, where to study nephrological or renal rare disease. And then we have a biology the possibility to create animal models. So that's, um, this is a, a very good tra trajectory how to, to perform research. I can say that along my life, I was, I've been interested in uh, renal rare disease than in oncology, and now we open a new, a new cutting edge and the clinical problem that, that we try to approach, that is uh, the cognitive impairment in patient with the coronary disease. And I've been um, a president of the Italian Society of Oncology, and also was in the member of the council of the European Society of Nephrology, that, that is called now European Arena Association. And uh, nowadays, I've been also elected chairman 
of the scientific activism report of the um, European Society of Anthropology, the ERA. So um, most of the time, I've tried to, uh, to put my experience uh, in order to decide the trajectories of this, uh, the, both of the Italian and the European Society of Anthropology. So, and it's a very, it's a very important part of my life. And uh, I think I, I love to do also that because you can uh, introduce a new idea, you can do a new project, and you can also uh, make some, um, something that is um, useful for the growing of the new generation of nephrologists. Uh, that's a thing that's very, very important. For an academic person, I'll always say the, um, the professor um, can be called professor only if you have uh, pupils, if you have uh, fellows, then he's competent. Otherwise, he will never be a good professor. The accomplice is, uh, is always, always very, very useful. And when I was a president of the Italian Society of Nephrology, I tried to convince the company to be interested in nephrology. So I had the opportunity to interact with big, big pharma, and I was very, always very happy um, to do open with this, in, in the, with this interaction. And obviously, one way in which you can um, uh, touch with the real interest of big company or big pharma is just to participate to uh, large clinical trials. And I did, and uh, I've been, uh, and for example, just to make uh, an example, we have very bad, since we were well interested about rare diseases, but that are genetic diseases, one of the most important genetic diseases that we have in a is is uh, polycystic kidney disease. So I've participated to several trials uh, on, the, um, on patients with polycystic kidney disease, trying to uh, identify or to demonstrate that the specific molecules that we have used in the uh, uh, animal models of the polycystic kidneys could be transferred to the clinical practice. And we have succeeded because one of these molecules mod 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 is uh, an inhibitor of, of water channels. And uh, actually, uh, we have participated to four clinical trials now. These molecules um, is on the market. It can be used to utilize by patients with um, with the polycystic kidney disease to treat um, to treat the their own disease and uh, now we are we are make step forward uh, because uh, you know a big uh, problem that we have when you have a genetic disease is a therapeutic uh, gene therapy and actually we have now a larger larger project in order to treat with gene therapy uh, the patient with uh, with uh, uh, a mutation in single genes that affect the kidney function. And I, I look at the big pharma like important, an important component of, uh, uh, of my research and this important component of the research in, in every kind of, in every field of medicine. Carger is one of the most important uh, editor house in the world. So for me, it's a real privilege to work for Carger. As a matter of fact, I've worked for Carger for a long time. Actually, I was vice editor in chief at the time when Florian Lang was the editor in chief. And then they asked me to take over, get the blood pressure research. And also at that time, it was really, I appreciated them very much. I might say, along all these years, the Carger office officers have really collaborated with me and we have tried to, to make the calculation better and better and really I enjoy to work with all the officers of Carger. So, and I'm looking forward also to continue this collaboration if it's possible. Uh, Kidney personal research has to be very, very careful to select and to look for future important topics in medicine in general and in nephrology in particular, because this century will be the century of the medicine. And there are so many things 
going on that we have to look very, very carefully, try to select the, the most important topics. For example, in, the, in this year, we have a lunch, a call for omic science. And we ask uh, the most important people around the world to write some review on omic science. And this is one I indirect, one of the direction that we would like um, to give. But there are many, many other f- um, sections of nephrology that can be somehow investigated. We, if you look to the clinical trial, this is uh, also another important issue we have to um, look carefully. The second part, who is doing this job? Obviously, the editor in chief has a larger responsibility, but also the editorial board is a larger responsibility. The associate editor um, uh, the, must be largely engaged in this endeavor. So I'm very confident with the younger generation. You know, if we are confident with the younger generation, then in the future, or for the junior, but all the kind of junior, could be bright.